First off, this is going to be a hyper-abbreviated lesson on list building. I could write an entire book on the topic. And I've actually created an entire course on list building because it's a rich and deep topic and so important. If you want to take this topic further, and you should, you can get my list building blueprint free at thelaunchbook.com slash list. So the first thing you need to do is get clear on who your prospect is. We use the term avatar. Think of your avatar as your typical prospect, the typical person you're trying to reach. So if you're teaching about golf, you generally aren't trying to reach all golfers. You might be going after school-aged golfers who are trying to get a college scholarship. Or you might be going after 45 to 55-year-old women who are just starting to golf after their kids have gone off to college. Or you could be going after men with handicaps under 10 who want to improve their short game. I actually don't really know the golf market, so I just made all those up. But you get the idea. Everything about your marketing will be completely different depending on which of those three different groups you are targeting. So this is the deal. Your list building effort is the very sharp end of your marketing efforts. It's the first place where people have contact with you, so you have to get it right. And the very first step in getting it right is understanding to whom you are selling, who your avatar is. The reason you have to get this right is we're going to create what is called a squeeze page. That squeeze page will have an opt-in offer. That's the offer you will make to get someone to join your email list. One way to think of this offer is as a bribe, but an ethical one. You have something of value that you will give to your website visitor if they join or subscribe to your list. Your squeeze page and your opt-in offer will be the key to your list building efforts. Important. As I just mentioned, it's important to get this first piece of your marketing right. In fact, it's critical. This is your lead element in the battle for your business. However, you don't have to get it perfect right out of the gate. In fact, no one gets it perfect right away. The good news is that it's really easy to be incremental about this. You get your first squeeze page up, and then you work on improving it. One of the coolest things about an online business is how much data you get and how easy it is to test things. In the most basic form, and one of the most useful, you create two versions of your squeeze page. Then you use software to alternate which version is shown to your site visitors and watch to see which version has the best response rate. Check my resource page at thelaunchbook.com slash resources. After you have a winner, then you use the winner but create another test to see if you can improve it even more and so on. This is called split testing or A to B testing, and it's the key to constantly improving your site's conversion. In this case, your conversion is simply the percentage of visitors you get to join your email list. Again, the important thing to remember is this. Don't worry about perfection when you're starting out. No one gets it right the first time. The important thing is to get the first version done and then improve from there. How to get people to join your list. So, what is a squeeze page? As far as can be determined, this idea was pioneered many years ago by my friend Dean Jackson, ilovemarketing.com, and has proven to be one of the most significant developments in the internet marketing world. A squeeze page is a very simple page that gives the visitor a choice of only two options. One, the visitor can opt in with their email address to get some type of free something. This is your ethical bribe. Or two...